current Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability. We plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We're currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We're also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. One of our long-term goals for Titus robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah, yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. Guys, guys, I can't even. Where'd you find? Oh, I can't even. Oh. Man, why does he get to play with all the toys? System online. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that. Heading to the prototypes now. We've got a problem. 
Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Knock the fuck out of the prototype while I work on the door. Counting on you, buddy. Got it. The door is now open. There should be an elevator. You'll need to find your way up to the backup server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything. Marcus, check out all this Titus shit. It is like engineer porn. I mean, machine learning, nanotech, whale guns. Whale guns? Yeah, I thought y'all might like that. This was a gift? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, damn, Ray. You're like some kind of greasy, foul-mouthed Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Hey, you guys ready? Sitar is about to release the vid.
compared to other Silicon Valley Titans, Titus goes unnoticed. They do not put effort into their public face. They operate behind closed doors, away from prying eyes. DeadSec pride, and what we found should worry you. Titus is using your tax contributions to fund military-capable machines. Today, a combat prototype rampages through their own facility, demonstrating the destruction they can cause. Within the next 10 years, these machines can be deployed on American soil. If you do not exercise your right to protest them now, they will build an army to keep you quiet and compliant. Titus has partnered with Bloom to grant CTOS access to their machines. Bloom has sold your private information and weaponized it to use against you, should this project continue. We will not stand idle while that happens. DeadSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. Come on, let's go see what you scored before you get all the pages all stuck together. Hey, I'll catch up with you later. All right, later.